Hello, in this video we'll talk about uh, how to remove the installed keyboard. So when I check the keyboard, you can see I have uh, one, two, three. One, the, one English is United English and another one is Canada English. Okay, let's see how to remove them. Let's go to the settings. Then go to time and language. Okay. So from here, you can see we only have two keyboard installed. Let's see if we language option and you can see the <laughs> keyboard only has UIS. And you cannot remove that. So now you can see we have United English keyboard here, but the Canadian English keyboard cannot show up over here. So we want to remove this one. And also we want to try to remove the English one. Let's go back. Um, language, language, and region. So if you click the three dot here, the remove option is green. Okay. Well, so to fix that, it's e easy. You just move the Chinese one to top to the first one. Then you can you can have the remove option show up on the the first one. <coughs> you don't have a remove option here. So that's why, because uh, the first language is uh, Chinese now, so you cannot remove the first one, but you can remove the second one. Okay, so <clears throat> now we may see remove Canadian English keyboard. So what you can do, you need add the Canadian English language back, then try to remove. Okay, so we search that, next, and uh, install it. So we install it, then after we install it, we remove it. Let's see if that can fix the problem. <laughs> Okay, now we success uh, install the English Canadian language here, and then we can see the keyboard is the same as U-I-S-Q-W-E-R-T-Y. So now let's, you cannot remove it because it's only one of the only one inside, okay? So let's go back to the regional and try to remove this here. Are you sure want to remove? Yes. Now we success remove it. Let's go back to here. We can see we only have two keyboard available now. So now we success remove the Canada English keyboard. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.